guys, this is Chumara Lu. How's everybody doing today? On the last episode, we went off on our journey and got ourselves the running shoes, also met up with Mr. Pokemon, and also battled against our uh, new rival called David. And after that, I actually got a new member of my team. Give me one second. I have Marie. And Onyx is just um, the tradable Pokemon that I think I'm going to keep him a little bit. So I have Marie here. And, um, ooh, he's careful nature. That's not a bad start. So far, I did not train up my Pokemon really, uh, I did not train up my Pokemon because I've been kind of busy, uh, last two days. And, um, it's been a hectic and, uh, also, um, some of us are, like, not feeling so well, so... I just want to apologize that it took a, it took me very long because... For the last two days, my mom was not feeling so well, and I'm not feeling so well. But, um, I did not go to work, uh, yesterday and today, because things are just, like, not going our way, so. Okay, so we got ourselves an HM06, uh, Rock Smash. So, I think Rocky would actually be a good example for doing Rock Smash, so... If you guys are thinking we should go to Bellsprout Tower, uh, yes, we will do that. But not until we go to the Ruins of Elf. So this actually reminds me of the time in Pokemon Crystal that we did Ruins of Elf. Except one thing. This one is completely different. I have to say I like this uh, Ruins of Elf uh, instead of the uh, old original ones. So I gotta say that this one's much better than the original ones, I gotta say. But sometimes uh, doing like the puzzle of these things are a uh, little bit complicated, but not as complicated as, um, not as complicated as the, uh, in Crystal version I played along with. So, I think we're gonna go up and that way and down and that way and then up. Okay. So, these things are actually more different because... In only Pokemon Crystal, you only do these things um, to go into secret pathways. In these kind of games, I don't think you do. Okay, so since you have to do like uh, one of those uh, fingerprint things, so in other words, you just gotta concentrate on like what we're doing. There we go. So, not only that you're actually uh, going to uh, do some puzzlings, you can also uh, manage to get all these Pokemon called Unknown. Which, he is not wrong about, like, capturing them. If you capture every single one of di uh, different of the Unknown uh, alphabeticals, uh, there's a possibility that you can actually uh, get one of those... Oh, God, what would you call them? Um... Uh, wordings that you actually uh, get from these unknowns. Like, uh, for example, if I uh, weaken this guy down and actually capture it, um, these Pokemon are not very useful. They are not very useful in battles at all. They could be useful for, like, alphabetical orders, yes, but when it comes around with, like, using them in battles, all they have is actually hidden power, and oh my goodness, um, all they have is hidden power, which is, to my knowledge, not a very good move. Because the way I look at these Pokemon, they should have more than just hidden powers, you know? I mean, to my knowledge, that's just the thing I was thinking, you know? 
So, um, let's see here. For example, I only have like four poke uh, make that three Pokeballs now. So, see if I can capture him in one shot. Uh, two, and a three, and a boom. Okay. So we got ourselves an unknown. So there's most of the people that I actually watch on YouTube, such as uh, Purple Rodri, and um, uh, I think that's pretty much it. But I don't know if he actually managed to show you guys. No, I did not mean to do that. Fucking piece of shit buttons. Okay, so let's go to here. And let's go to unknown report and use. And you only, uh, it says that you can capture any different kinds of unknown, um, so it's like a calendar of the unknown. So let's say, okay. So as you can see here, you can get all the unknown as you can that actually has the different words of it. So it's actually pretty interesting, but then again, it's not very interesting because capturing an unknown is a, is a kind of very difficult to uh, get. But there's so many different kinds of them that you can catch them for, uh, part of the warnings and uh, part of um, uh, part of like a uh, excuse you uh, part of like you know gain all the unknowns that you can get so it's um, it could be useful and it could be not useful at the same time so to my knowledge I uh, I was a fan of it but then again I was not a fan of it so it's just uh, one of those things that says Oh, you can actually get those unknown for anything's reasons. No, you cannot. Because, like I said, I wish they could be. I wish the unknown could be very much useful in battles. Okay, because that's just me. Because the way I look at the unknown in the Pokemon movie and one of the episodes of uh, Larvitar uh, met up with unknown and and Ash and his friends wanted to know why that Larvitar is so afraid of people except for Ash catch him. And that's the reason why. The unknown can actually create dreams. They can create so many dreams that people can actually uh, make. And from the looks of it, that these unknowns can make dreams into reality. But sometimes in not a very good way. But, uh, however, um, if you kind of take a look at these uh, kind of Pokemon, they're, um, they're just not very useful in the games. But... So far, I wish they would actually uh, show you how you create dreams into reality. And I thought it was actually pretty cool how they do that. Like, how they make uh, Pokemon the third movie. Um, and um, how Unknown uh, use the little girl's dreams into reality. And then create uh, Entei, who she, uh, who she thinks is, his, is her father. Which is actually, to my knowledge, really kick-ass movie. I'm not kidding. I thought they made the movie awesome. So I'm just like really in awe. Okay, so we're here in Bell Sprout Tower, or as they call it, uh, Sprout Tower. But it's a representative of Bell Sprout. Cause look at this. Uh, look at this uh, pole thing. I have to say that's really cool. So, I haven't used Mareep in, like, so many years, not since I was first playing Pokemon. Oh, God, I think it was only uh, Soul Silver, right after, uh, right, right after um, Gold and Silver. But I need Mareep to get into the close level. But I don't want him to be as high as level as, um, as Cyndaquil. I really want them to train up, but I never got the chance because... So many things I've been working around the house and also been not feeling so well. We've been kind of feeling sick, so. It would seem to me that all of my family are starting to get sick and I'm starting to get one too, so that's not really a good sign. Holy shit, Marie! Sam, honey! I know that Bellsprout is only level 3, but damn, babe! You got some spunk! I mean, yeah, I want Marie as a girl because of uh, what Flappy looks like, and Flappy is the cutest thing ever. Woo! Critical. Shit. I mean, Flappy is just like the adorable thing ever. But so far, um... 
Oh my god, Flappy. Okay, so I'm gonna click no, and then I'm gonna go back to Cyndaquil. Because, uh, it would be nice to actually have experience share. However, you will not get the experience share for a very long time. And you guys know the reason why. <laughs> not since I played Pokemon Crystal. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay. So, okay. Maripa level up in level uh, 8. That's cool. Uh, that's a very odd name for a guy named Nico. I mean, I get used to the name Nico since uh, my cat was named Nico. She was a very, very chubby cat. <laughs> I mean, very chubby cat. But uh, she was a very lovable cat anyway, so... I miss my Nikki. I miss my Nikki. I really miss my my animals so much. Yeah. Ooh, crit! Damn, Marie! I forgot to heal him. But that's okay! That was a critical! Holy shit! Okay, so... Uh, keep in battle. And go back to... I would like to use Onyx, but... Onyx is not going to be very useful at, at all. He, he can be useful for, like, a... For HM uh, user. But, something I want to tell you a little story. When I was uh, getting close to, like, uh, oh god, um, the final Pokemon game to battle against Red when I was in, in uh, when I was in, uh, Pokemon Soul Silver, and when I was going inside the caves, I managed to find a freaking shiny Onyx. No kidding. I actually found a shiny onyx without any reasons. And back then when I was a little kid, I didn't even know the difference of the color, actually. All I saw is that onyx is green. And I'm like thinking, oh wow, so it's a different color onyx. I kind of seen those in the anime, so I guess that actually makes perfect. I didn't even know at the time it was actually shiny. Because <laughs> back then I was only a little kid and... Sometimes, as kids, you don't understand the part of the games, and it just makes it sound so silly, but, um, I didn't know at the time that it was actually, uh, shiny, so, that was, uh, pretty kind of stupid, so, I was, like, thinking, oh, excuse me, um, uh, I was, like, thinking, oh, wow, so, that's a different color of onyx, I did not realize that, okay. But after when I grew up and I'm like thinking, wait a minute, that's what shinies are? That's what they are? I thought they were just like part of the games just like they were on, uh, uh, in the anime, but god damn, I was wrong. But anyways, um, after I ca captured Onyx and I wanted to replay the game again, so stupidly when I was thinking about it, when I was, when I was still a little kid, I restart the game. There was no transfer, there was no keeping it, there was no trading Onyx. I stupidly reset the game. And I was such an idiot at the time. So, I, uh, when I first think about it, I'm like, wait a minute, no, no, I just realized something. You cannot, you can never get that Pokemon again. It's rare. No! I was so upset. I was very upset. I'm like thinking, I'm so stupid. I didn't even know that was shiny at the time. It was just ridiculous, you know? But that's what happens when you're just a little kid and you're too stupid to think that you uh, think it's just, a ri it's just an original thing that you can get it from any kinds of Pokemon game. No. <laughs> Especially when you have a very bad mental issue like I do. Because, in case if you guys haven't noticed, I have Asperger's. There's most of you guys like thinking, what the fuck is Asperger's? You might want to look it up. <laughs> you might want to look it up. Alright, so Maripa's catch up with Cyndaquil and he learned Thundershock. Cool! Yes. Okay. 
some Reaper and uh, Thundershock, so that's really cool. And we got encountered with Pokemon, like, that was first time. <laughs> okay. So, I was... I have I, I have Asperger, so my mental issues were not really that good back then. But when I got older, I managed to actually control over it, and I still don't know how I managed to do that. I really don't. It just sort of happened. Which is uh, kind of weird, you know? But um, the way my mom just took me to the doctor's appointment, and then my doctor was looking at me and saying, Well, she is very smart, she is very sweet, she's very friendly. And, uh, her mental issue is not that bad as it was before, so keep it up! I'm like, wow, really? I did not realize my mental issue is under control. I just didn't know at the time, so I just, uh, keep up the good work. And you may think of me, like, uh, saying, oh, Shauna, you sound so smart. What? I never knew that you have actually has Asperger's. There are many people that did not know about me. I'm not kidding, because some of the kids in the elementary school think I'm so stupid. <laughs> no joke, because there are many kids that think of me I'm so stupid, and that's a, that's a negatively, uh, positively true in the ways. But, um, but I have some stupid in me, and I just say, okay, I made a mistake, okay, let's move on. <laughs> But even back then, I uh, have a very bad uh, temperament issue, so my angers are not that good. It's, um, the, there's, there's very bad negativities that I actually uh, do, and it's not very pretty. <laughs> it's not very pretty about it, because even back then when I was a kid, I started to, like, um, beat my head up on something hard, like either metal or wood or uh, something in between and my parents tried to stop me by doing that and I don't know why I managed to do that I just I don't even I don't even remember why I do that it's just sounded so weird you know but I guess that's just how my anger issues is I don't know I mean it's uh, kind of weird at the time but even I'm just like a bit confused and thinking oh I guess that's how stupid kids are like that not necessarily, unless if I'm doing something terrible to try to murder myself. Oh my goodness. But, um, but I, at the same time, I just don't understand why, and sometimes I don't even remember why I did that. But, as long as I, um, keep my anger out of, uh, keep my anger in control, I'm pretty much okay. And that's only the reason I'm actually taking my pills, because... My, uh, pills managed to keep my anger issues, um, under control, and sometimes if I don't take them, and it just automatically makes me snap. And to some other people, it makes it scary. <laughs> but luckily I keep it under control, and people don't look at me like I'm actually a very bad person. I am not a very bad person, it's just that my anger issues are not very pleasant. So, yeah, sometimes it's just the way it is, I guess. But uh, as long as I keep a control, I'm good. <laughs> as long as I keep a control, I'm pretty much good. So, uh, yeah. So, anyways, uh, we managed to be all the sage. So, that's actually pretty cool. So, Marie and uh, Cyndaquil are doing really well. I'm really happy for them. I guess it's kind of a good thing I don't actually uh, train up my uh, Marie very well, uh, very often, because sometimes when you get your Pokemon to, like, above uh, level 11, it just won't be able to obey you. So I suggest, guys, be very careful. <laughs> just be very, very careful, because sometimes having these Pokemon uh, not under control is not really a good thing.
And now, if you think he's talking about you, if he's talking to you guys, no, he's pretty much talking to himself. In the original games, he talked to, uh, uh he talks to us. Okay, so we're battling against the Elder. That's actually pretty cool. So, I don't really like trainers to actually uh, treat their Pokemon like tools. It's like the same thing with uh, life, uh, the life parts of how people treat animals like wild creatures. And that part really pisses me off. Every time I think about like Pokemon being treated by uh, trainers, and it just makes me think about how... People abuse the uh, their pets, like uh, abuse their dogs, abuse their horses, abuse their whole lots of animals, and they treat they treat animals like they're like nothing, you know? They're just like tools. And that part really pisses me off. And now, when I was watching uh, some of the anime uh, parts of it, and how Ash uh, managed to help out his Charmander or uh, Tur uh, 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 Tepig, and those trainers really pisses me off, and I'm just like hating those trainers that keeps on abusing their Pokemon, and saying, you're so weak, why do I even have you as your Pokemon trainer? You're useless, I think you should leave. Not to mention that, um, uh, Chimchar, I forgot all about Chimchar, holy, wait a minute, I just realized something. Every Pokemon that Ash actually gets from the uh, um, uh, banding Pokemon are all fire type Pokemon. Have you just got, have you guys realized that? I just realized it now. Charmander, uh, Chimchar, and Tepig. Does that make any sense to you guys? I don't know. But there's also Snivy that actually abandoned her trainer. Like, um, I'm thinking that she might have a bad relationship to her trainer. I don't know. I was just wondering that. We will have to do that next time, guys. Which means we'll actually look into the cave later. So in the meantime, I think we're gonna get out of the Sprout Tower. Thank you so much, Elder, and have yourself a nice day, sir. It's always a respectful thing to uh, say that to people like that. I'm always nice to people. I love being nice to people. As long as you be nice to them, they will be nice to you too. So I think that's about it for today, guys. So in the meantime, guys, please make a like down below and also subscribe. And if you want to comment to me, please feel free. So I hope you guys have a wonderful, beautiful day. 